Hi, I'm Uncle Mark. Welcome to the channel. Just uh, changing brake light bulbs. Uh, could also be a rear marker light and uh, running lights in a car. I'm going to be doing this on a 2005 Chevy Impala, but this is probably very similar on most cars nowadays. Let's take a look at how easy it is to do. So we can see the third light works on this one, that uh, top brake light, but the others aren't. Yeah, if you su suspect it's a bulb, I'll show you how to check them and change them. And this is some carpet in this one here. First off, take this piece off the sill, I guess you want to call it. If you grab the back of it, just twist it a little bit, it's some hooks. I'll just go straight up. I'll show the hooks in a minute. See, they're just in the back and they just snap in there. Of course, like always, plastic pieces, they don't go in the front, they just go in the back. You never know. Could be brittle, could have some issues. And I'll bring you back inside. This on the driver's side. Just turn these little, what you want to call them, they're kind of like a bolt. Couple different types. The one I'm playing with right now actually has some hooks for if you've got there's a net that you can use sometimes for cargo net, is that what it's called? So that's the one there, whereas the other one looks quite a bit different. I don't think it really matters they, as long as they hold the carpet in there if you're not using that net. And there's one on top there. And then we just kind of peel the carpet back a little bit. And there's a couple more. These are all holding the light in as well. So there they are. Two more. These I want to be a little more careful because there's some holes they could fall into. One there in the wheel well. There's a couple places in there they could fall. I don't know how easy it would be to get it out. Maybe with pliers. Maybe you'd never get them out. So I'm going to try not to let them fall. The light's just about out. So you can see from the outside if you just kind of pull it towards you. Ta-da! On this middle one here, turn it counterclockwise and there's the bulb. And if you just wiggle it back and forth, it should just snap out. It doesn't turn, it just snaps out. Yeah, just wiggle it back and forth like that. There you go. And the number here looks like it's a 3057. These don't matter which way they go back in when you put the new one back in. It's not burnt or nothing. These actually work. I've checked them already. I don't know how dirt got in there, but I guess the car is old. It's just hopefully that doesn't get unhooked by accident. It's just a clip holding the wiring on. And there's a little marker light right there as well. Might as well look at that. Here, I'll just turn them on. You can see what it looks like. Got the light out, might as well make sure that works. And I just the same thing just rocks out. I tried looking at the number here, couldn't really see the number. I looked in, well, there it's either a 194 or 194 LL, which stands for long life, so you'll pay a little bit more for that. But uh, the book. Owner's manual doesn't tell you what that number is. It says, see your dealer. It's like, really? I looked it up online. 194 or 194 LL. Now these just go back into the little fingers. I have to do some wiggling. And make sure that these are the two you do first because they get hidden behind the carpet. If you check the bloopers, I put the wrong ones on. Then I have to take them off. Wasn't paying attention. And the carpet just goes back on. There's a couple holes there for the other two. And again, depends on which one you want to use. They both work either place. So if you're using that cargo net, you may want to put the one with the cargo net little fingers, that one at the bottom. Maybe not. 
Actually, there might be two of them on each side because the cargo net's going to have to be held on the top. So I think that's what that other one was there too. And just snug them up. There's the other cargo net one. And then there'll be some, of course, on the other side. Just about done. Now this piece just goes back in the way you took it out. It only goes in one way. One thing though, is it moves side to side a little bit. So when I was putting it in here, those two snapped in nice. And then these last two didn't seem to want to move in. And I don't know if the clips moved a little bit. So you may want to have to move it either left or right. I had to shove it that way. And it snapped in. Close her up and should be working. So that was fairly easy, I think. Uh, it took a few minutes. Why pay somebody to do it when you can do it yourself? And of course, uh, check your own owner's manual as to the bulbs on this car. Uh, those were the bulbs that were uh, required. If you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up, please? You can subscribe down in the corner, of course. And uh, don't forget. To check out more of uh, the videos on this particular car in the Chevy Impala, we'll put a link up there. Until next time, Uncle Mark saying you stay safe. Bye bye for now. Please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.